as you know that water may contain impurities and contaminants such as uh, there is a chance of presence heavy metal such as arsenic cadmium mercury lead again pesticides may be there herbicides may be there chemical pollutants may be there fluoride may be there chlorine may be there chloramine may be there okay so uh, the microorganisms may be there viruses may be there bacteria may be there so so many types of impurities and uh, contaminants may be present in water the water which we normally use for the purpose of drinking for cooking and i'm talking about water used for residential purposes means for our domestic uses for commercial uses for industrial uses food processing industries they use water beverage industries they was they, they use water so so many uh places are there where water is used the same water which is available at our home that is tap water so uh using ro technology ro stands for reverse osmosis okay so using ro technology water can be purified by using ro technology you will get means you can get clean water clean safe water which is highly palatable also okay again sea water can be uh converted into fresh water by using the same technology you know that sea water is salinated okay so desalination can be done using ro technology ro means reverse osmosis so you know that osmosis this is a natural process and this occurs uh, in case of liquid solution in case of solution you know that in solution there is solute as well as there is solvent and what is osmosis process you know that osmosis is a natural process no external force is required to make this process happen there is, if there is a presence of semi permeable membrane or selective membrane okay let's use the term semi permeable membrane and the both sides of the semi permeable membrane there, there are solutions in one side there is solute plus solvent another side same thing but once at one side the concentration of the solution is lower than the other one so where dilute solution is there from that part solvent will pass through the semi permeable membrane to reach to the other side okay and that way equilibrium is achieved means at both the sides the concentration will be same after some time but in case of water purifiers where ro technology is used this is not osmosis i have already mentioned the mechanism of osmosis which is a natural process no external force is required but in case of reverse osmosis it is just the opposite process of osmosis here external force is applied that is required so you know that uh, domestic water purifiers you have seen domestic water purifiers electrical energy electrical energy is required to operate this uh, device okay so a pump is there okay a pump is there inside the water purifier that pump is run by the electrical energy input okay and what is the function of that pump that pump causes reverse osmosis that means that pump is used to for apply force to do what to uh 
to make possible reverse osmosis. Okay, means here from dilute solution to concentrated solution solvent will not pass. Here just the opposite will happen. From concentrated solution water that is the solvent will pass to the dilute solution. What is the concentration concentrated solution? The water which contains impurities as well as contaminants that is concentrated solution. Okay. And you will get dilute solution which is the requirement that is the purified water. Dilute solution means only water you will get after filtration. So this process is called reverse osmosis. This is not natural. External force is applied. External force is required and which is supplied uh, by using the pump and pump is run by the electrical energy input. So I think uh, all these things are known to you. Okay. So the process is known as reverse osmosis. A semi-permeable membrane is the required and that is given inside the water purifier. Okay. So this way you will get purified water which is healthy. For hydration purpose we need this water. This is safe. This is pure, this is palatable, means tasty, okay, since uh, impurities are absent, salts are absent, okay. Minerals are also filtered out, such as magnesium, calcium, okay. Then salts such as sulfides, where again nitrates, so many types of salts, minerals, pollutants, pesticides, herbicides may be present, present inside the water in your water, tap water and everything can be filtered out by using RO technology. Okay, so this was all about RO technology used for uh, water purification or water filtration which is used everywhere. Okay, in your residences, in commercial places, in factories. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.